Some proteins are found in every living eukaryote on Earth. Fruit flies and bats, octopi and hippos, protists and humans. One such protein is cytochrome C. It is found in the mitochondria, the energy generating parts of all eukaryote cells, and without it, the cells die. Experimenting with yeast, researchers have shown that human cytochrome C protein works for the yeast as well as its own. Indeed, they have substituted genes from fish, birds, horses, insects, and rats into the yeast as well. And all of these genes produce cytochrome C proteins that work for the yeast too. But the gene that codes for this protein has been buffeted with sequence mutations over the billions of years that it has existed. Essentially, all of these mutations are silent. Null sequence sections inserted in the gene that do not change the protein that is built from amino acids based on these genes. But these mutations do tell the genealogy of the owners. For example, humans and chimps have exactly the same amino acid sequence for this protein. It hasn't mutated in the six or seven million years since our lines separated. And our common gene is at most 10 amino acids different from all other mammals, confirming our close relationship with other mammals. The differences increase as we step further back in time and further from our own branch on the tree of life. The yeast itself has 51 amino acid differences from that of humans and chimps, and is one of the most distantly related organisms from humans having separated from our branch over a billion years ago. Researchers have discovered another point about cytochrome C protein. It is somewhat easy to make other proteins that serve the same function. In fact, there are more possible proteins that can perform this function than there are atoms in the universe. So why do all organisms on Earth use the same version? The answer is simple, really. We inherited the one we use from our common ancestor.